Microplastic, a tiny pieces of plastic, less smaller than 5mm in diameter. Microplastic form over time as plastic objects like bags and bottles, coins and food packaging are broken down into increasingly smaller pieces, but they don't disappear. And microplastic pollution is everywhere, from our oceans and fields, to our food and drinking water. Most result from floating waste that is constantly exposed to UV radiation and fragment into a smaller, smaller pieces. 51 trillion such plastic float in the ocean, where they are even more easily swallowed by all kinds of marine life. Production increased exponentially from 2.3 million tons in 1950 to 448 million tons by 2015. Production is expected to double by 2050. Every year, about 8 million tons of plastic waste escape into the ocean from coastal nations. That's the equivalent of setting five garbage bag full of trash on every foot of coastline around the world. Scientists believe that 150 million tons have accumulated in the world oceans. Microplastic can be categorized into two main categories, primary and secondary microplastic. Primary microplastic will be plastic that are already micro-sized as they are enter into the environment. For example, first exfoliating scrub that we can use like facial scrub which already contain tiny microplastic particles. The secondary microplastic are larger pieces of plastic that enter into the environment. The common plastic that we usually use such as single-use plastic like plastic bag, plastic water bottle, the other source of plastic will be salt of wear or product that we use every day. For an example, our tires will release a lot of microplastic as they are wear against the road. Also, the fabric. A lot of our fabric that we use are textile that are made of plastic. And so, as we wash our clothes, it will release a lot of plastic. A study in Malaysia has found abundance of small microplastic ingested by Christian birds, which 71% of microplastic in shape of fiber, 26% in fragments form, and 3% in form of film. These studies focus on the occurrence of microplastic in gastrointestinal tract angles of 158 fishes across 16 species from two locations in Malaysia coastal waters. Microplastic were detected approximately 86% in the gastrointestinal tract and 92% in the gills of fish. The other study found that 74 of commercial sharks from the local wet market contain 100% of microplastic. A total of 2,211 plastic particles were found in gastrointestinal tract and gills of tropical shark species. Thus, a high possible exposure of microplastic ingestion to human through shark consumption. In situation of environmental weathering, plastic gradually break down and change. Another NSF supported study look at sunlight role in altering the properties of microplastic. A team of engineers used their NFS investment to turn freeze dry and insulated egg white into a new aerological that can filter 99% of micro and nanoplastic from seawater that more efficient than typical charcoal based carbon filter. One of the alternatives to protect our environment from plastic pollution, Solvice Corporation has recalled had implemented World Cleanup Day in every 21st September every year.
Malaysia plans to address single-use plastic by encouraging the plastic industry to transition to eco-friendly products. This roadmap is prepared to be used as a guide towards zero single-use plastic in Malaysia in a holistic manner. And the European Union has mandated reductions for throwaway plastic throughout its 28 member countries. But with your help, we can do more. Together, we can create a movement to reduce throwaway plastic. We can make sure we're all given real plastic-free choices. We can help our cities, towns, schools, and workplaces establish zones that are free of throwaway plastic. Let's stop plastic pollution from wrecking our beaches and our oceans and have healthy oceans that delight and sustain us for generations to come. Please join our campaign.